Hello friends and welcome to my little corner of YouTube. Here we are building a wonderful community of like-minded individuals. We all love, of course, exploring New England, but we also love home decor and antique homes. We love thrifting and renovating those antique homes. We love gardening, crafting, and of course cooking. So I would love it if you would join us here by hitting that subscribe button. And as the channel grows, YouTube will just share it more, which of course allows our community to grow. I have loved hearing from all of you in the comments section below the videos, but I do hope that too you communicate with each other in the comment section and that's how we all get to know each other. Because like I said, we all have so many of the same interests. Well, as you can see here, we had an unexpected dinner party last weekend. We had several guests, and I believe we ended up having, we counted roughly eight eventually. They had no idea they were being watched, <laughs> but they were quite entertaining for, I don't know, they were back there maybe about 10 minutes. This little one was so wrapped up in munching away, she didn't notice until a few minutes later that the rest of her friends had left. However, there were several of them that did wait for her on the other side of the stone wall, so she wasn't left totally alone. Before we head out on our little road trip today, I just wanted to do a little update on my last two projects. Let's start with the fermenting honey. It is still fermenting. I do shake it up every day. I, I open it up and, and I stir it or shake it obviously with the lid still on. And I did taste it. It is, it tastes like honey and garlic. Certainly very doable to take a little bit every day. It would also probably be good if you wanted to drizzle it on a savory dish, certainly not a sweet <laughs> dish. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that this is still going strong. And I have a couple more weeks before it's at the month time frame. So at that point, it should be completed. So there we go, there's the honey. Now on to project number two. Well, as a follow up to my paper white bulbs, these, are, these have flowered beautifully. Still have some more to come. And that is the bulbs that I planted this year. However, no, these did not bloom. These were the bulbs that I had pulled out of the closet. <laughs> so I was hoping they would bloom. That would be my lazy way of doing it. However, no such luck. So lesson learned and now I know. However, it does give me some green this time of year, which is, which is nice too. So there we go. That adds just a little bit of dimension, a little bit of color. It's just a little bit of something.
as you can see, today I decided to take a little day trip and I thought I would bring you with me. We're heading to Walpole, New Hampshire. Now that is on the western side of the state. We'll actually be right along the Connecticut River. And Walpole is definitely one of my favorite New Hampshire towns. To me, it is quintessential New England. You will see the homes are just beautiful. And it's actually one of the towns Mark and I were looking at of uh, to possibly live in. We fell in love with it when we first visited it. However, it just didn't work out uh, with Mark's job. We uh, could not live on that part of the state, but it's beautiful over here and I wanted to share my day with you. So let's go ahead and head into Walpole. Before going into the town of Walpole, just outside is Allison's Orchard, and I wanted to stop off there simply because I had never been. I've read so much about it. I've heard that the grounds are just beautiful. It is a wedding venue also. So I had, I had checked online to see if it was open. They did say that the farm store was open, so let's go ahead and check it out. Well, to my disappointment, they were not open that day, but I can see how it would be beautiful in the fall. It would be beautiful any time of the year. Honestly, the grounds were gorgeous. So I was disappointed they were not open because I would have loved to have seen the inside of the store. Oh, well, next time. Let's head into Walpole. Can you imagine this view in the fall? My goodness. Again, unfortunately, it's a little foggy. However, it's still beautiful. And I don't know if you can see across the way where it's very foggy. Uh, that would be across the river and that would be Vermont. Well, I'm definitely disappointed. I'm yet to make it to Allison's Orchard. I had looked it up online and said that the farm store, the little market, was open today. So, I don't know. You can't always trust what you read online. Anyway, let's head into Walpole. It looks like the sun's actually trying to come out a little.
first stop, of course, is going to be Burdick's Chocolate. And this is the town center right here. It's very tiny, but beautiful homes here. Very quintessential New England. Just as I'm walking along, feeling like I'm in a scene out of the Gilmore Girls, look what I see. The Griswold Place. Just like the Griswold Inn, where Lorelei works out of the Gilmore Girls. As with most New England towns, there is a little gazebo. But look at this. This adorable town has two. And this beauty, it's for sale. Uh-oh. Can I live in two places at one time? How oh, beautiful. 
a little carriage house in the back. A beautiful stone church in the neighborhood of just one nice house after the other. All white. And can you imagine what this looks like in the summer? Not a rainy, slushy winter day. <laughs> just beautiful. The skating pond is a little slushy, but honestly, can you imagine if it was frozen and you had skaters here? This is what you're looking at. Talk about a courier and I have seen. And then across the road, see the mountains? way in the distance there. And here is your town hall. There's the gazebo again. This house is two years younger than ours. 
Thank you so much for joining me today on my little day trip to Walpole, New Hampshire. Unfortunately, Mother Nature did not get my request for a beautiful sunny day. However, as you can see, it's just a beautiful part of our country, no matter what the weather is. Have a wonderful week, my friends, and we will see you next time.